Hi and welcome to We Make Everything. Today we're gonna start on a carpet. Okay, so I'm in quarantine and uh, I <laughs> don't have much to do, so uh, I thought uh, why don't show another activity of what we can do while in quarantine. I think this, not in carpets, is what I'm go going to call it, and I think that is a very nice activity to do in the evening, or if you don't have anything else to do in the regular day. Um, what it's going uh, out on is that you have uh, this piece of uh, cotton or uh, I don't know what and then you turn it into a okay carpet with uh, small yarn bits and bobs. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, see uh, how it's going. What tools we're going to use and uh, see how it all works and uh, I'll also show you where we can get uh, some of these carpets so uh, first of all we need to know what we're working with so uh, the center of this piece of art is of course uh, what we're using to knot the carpet on. It's a small uh, square net of uh, these uh, threads and that's where we are knotting our small pieces of yarn. They are just small individual uh, yarn stumps or yeah whatever you want to call it, that we not on to make this kind of carpet with a design on it, or it just can be blank if it, that's what you want. So I yeah, the tool we're using to do this is this small uh, thing here. It got a nice rounded uh, wooden uh, handle, and uh, on the end here, it got this uh, steel rod hook, which uh, also got a small uh, other uh, pin. This is so that when we thread it through the uh, net it won't uh, hook while sliding back out and uh, then we don't end up uh, tearing the entire square net and ruining uh, every chance of making a uh, carpet okay so uh, here we got the materials i showed earlier we got the uh, whatever I call this, then we have the yarn and the tool. So then, how you does not this is that I usually catch the string between here, or yarn, and then I just uh, come up through here so I catch it equally length around this uh, rod and then you see all this going across here 
it's depending on what way you're uh, yarning, but it's usually uh, rectangular in this way. Um, you not up. Then you go under one of these, uh, or these uh, strings. Then you grip onto the yarn with uh, the hook pin thing and if I am able to do it you shall uh, drag it through this net like uh, this now I used a bit uh, too much force and uh, torn the net, but uh, when you knot this, you will knot uh, side by side till you make uh, a such painting or a carpet as this one. Now I'm not uh, completely done making this carpet and uh, it's uh, this carpet I'm going to show in a short while how we we'll work uh, to make this simple and uh, now I'm just going to show you how you get one of the carpets I got my um, of white wolves here, but you can get a lot of different themes. So uh, this is the site where you can get the uh, carpets. I found out uh, after uh, filming these things, it's uh, called a uh, rug. I uh, have uh, called it uh, not there I think it's a latch hook rug and uh, so you can see that uh, it's uh, called uh, johan.com and uh, here you can find many different things about the uh, hobbies and so with uh, so you see all the different uh, jewelry making uh, and uh, you got uh, sewing, yarn and needles uh, and big different things. So uh, we're going to go on yarn and needles and here again it's very much different and uh, be free to check out some of those things if you are interested but we shall at latch and uh, whatever it was and uh, here you got many different kinds of uh, those uh, carpets rugs that you can uh, not much animals and no inside no uh, things to choose from and here you also got the rug I got. Don't know what everything here is, this in particular. And uh, yeah, here it is again, the thing I don't know. And here is the tool we're using. So, don't know what that is either. And here's uh, what we knot it on to. So uh, just go and get whatever you want. So on a carpet like this, you want to use the knot I showed in a earlier clip. And then you, I'm right handed so it uh, just uh, came naturally to me to work from left to right but uh, and I want to suggest for any other that's right handed to try that too if you're left handed I think it's easier to work from right to left but uh, 
you have to see yourself, but because I don't actually know. And uh, this, then you just uh, see what color you got on uh, the grid here, and then you use the not technique I showed earlier, and uh, then you just uh, not start knotting and uh, just uh, do it in the entire way across. This can take some uh, while to do though, because uh, each and every knot takes uh, a small amount of time to knot, and uh, there are uh, thousands of them in one carpet, so uh, just be patient, it will be finished in the end, and it will be worth it. So, uh, now it's uh, time-lapse time! From this point in time to the end of where I'm knotting here, it actually took me uh, about 10 minutes to knot uh, this way. So, uh, this is a very time-consuming uh, activity, I guess. Okay, so... Uh... First of all, I have to thank my grandmother for helping me out here. I uh, wouldn't have uh, been able to make this video without you, so uh, thank you very much if you see this. Then I just uh, have to thank uh, Skilltree, another channel I can link down in the description for uh, helping me out before I started put out videos and so, for the tips you gave. And uh, that did help very much. And so I uh, just have to thank you for uh, watching this video. It would help the channel very much if you uh, want to subscribe, but uh, no pressure on that, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching, see you next time. Thing to notice, if you want, I can uh, put out some uh, pictures of it uh, when uh, I can come further into the carpet on the Discord channel, I leave a link down in the description if you want to join it and if you want to see me do something uh, then uh, leave it down in the comments or uh, put it uh, at the discord channel that too if you want so uh, again see you next time